Our tail of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. It's your first. Fighting out of the blue corner, Brad Tavares. And now, here's his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, an ultimate fighter season winner, Kelvin Gastelum. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, early round action here featuring the longtime extreme couture staple Brad Tavares. Well rounded in modern day mixed martial arts sometimes can be an overused term, but it certainly applies to Tavares. Outstanding striker, plus athlete, great takedowns, and he believes his toughness could be relied upon in this competitive match. Oh, he goes with the punch in that land. He's brutalized him with the protocol. This fight is close to being done. Lands a nice punch from his back. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. castleham has got a lot of weapons on both sides as he switches his stance here. Just out of range with that strike. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Leg kick lands nicely done. Tavares lands to the bottom. These guys are trying to knock each other out. This is a phenomenal fight. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. All right, he gets the takedown now, DC. We'll see what he can do in this advantageous spot. He set it up beautifully. Let's see if he can now take full advantage of it. Standing work with the ground and pound here by Gastelum. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved, I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in a half guard position on the mat. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. He missed with that jab attempt there. Second round, straight ahead. All right, mercifully, that is it for the round, and... Castellum is bleeding from the forehead here a bit. Hopefully they can get that under control so it doesn't trickle down into his eyes in the next round. All right, let us now take a look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. He appeared to open up a significant cut on his opponent's forehead with one of those strikes. A lot of blood comes from the cut on the forehead. He did exactly what he needed to do to land a strike that would open up a cut on the forehead. Now that he's got the target, he has got to continue to go there. He's got to continue to Ready land fight. in that spot Ready. to try to get his opponent out of there. Of course, his corner imploring him to be more sound defensively. The cut man appeared to do a pretty good job. Let's see how this next round plays out. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Gastelum. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next round. Confidence is key, and he has a ton of it right now. Ooh, head kick lands is hurt. Big double leg level change.
Gillum going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. Trying to recover full guard there. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Gastelum. Another strike gets through from the top position. Gastelum's in half goal. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Well, he's got his back now. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and proving to be able as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to taking on very early in fights, but tonight he is showing that he is comfortable in the striking, and he is on point with his striking. They work very hard to improve his stand-up skills in his showing right now. The ground strikes starting to pile up. Nice positional control here. Standing over his opponent here and making these strikes count. Beautiful sequence there by Gastelum. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Let's go. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the same oh, oh. option here is going to be to use his Stop. ground and pound. Build a base. Posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, build posture again, right, throw big great. strikes, and just really great. wear him down when a really secure up. position in half court. I want you to go out there and finish this fight. He is spent. All right, let's get you some pictures from that previous round, DC. A lot of good work with the ground and pound strike. Yeah, he was able to control posture, get himself postured up, land big ground and pound as he ended the round. What a great finish to a fantastic round. You ready to fight? You ready? Third yeah. round underway. Clean execution on that leg kick. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Tavares' cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh, nice punishing kick to the body. Just missed with the leg kick. Come on. Oh, good work with the jab there. There's a level change. Yes. He's got to start throwing now. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Brad Tavares. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Three minutes to go in round three. Now he's going full mount. Well, that swelling, folks, is not from sodium. That is from a serious ground and pound attack from his opponent. Now he's got good body position. Yep. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. Gastelum's back in full mount. Two minutes and counting to go in this fight. Watch our bar here. Oh, he's got the arm in tight. Oh, he is tight. He got out. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. 
Another ground and pound strike lands. Oh, how about the speed on that one? Wow, so somehow, some way in this final round, back to the feet. It's like he playing the lottery, John. He got to his feet now. Does his numbers hit? He has got to hit every button to try to get a finish. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. Oh, nice counter jab there. Oh, oh. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Kelvin Gastelum. All right, so the UFC wins continuing to pile up for the oncoming force that is Kelvin Gastelum. Few men can keep up with his pressure, his power, his pace. And tonight with style points, gas.